the documentary even goes as far as to say Mr. Kratz is responsible, and that's the word they use. Ken Kratz is turning the tables around. In a phone interview today, he says he's not the one to blame for Stephen Avery's incarceration. Viewers of the hit series, he says, didn't get to make up their own minds. They want the viewers to conclude that Mr. Avery is innocent. Kratz says filmmakers achieved that by omitting close to 10 pieces of evidence that were key in disproving the theory that evidence was planted by Manitowoc County Sheriff's Office. So the fact that there is DNA under the victim's hood mm -hmm. is not explainable. And because it's inconsistent with the uh, narrative of the documentary, of the defense-generated documentary, because it was inconsistent, it was not included. As for the latest revelations that jurors compromised over votes, Kretz calls that nonsense. Or what about the fact that one of the jurors had a son who worked as a Manitowoc County Sheriff's Department supervisor at the jail? The question is whether that juror can be deliberative, whether they can set whatever relationships that they may have aside and decide the case solely on the evidence that's presented. Kratz is no longer a prosecutor. He works as a defense attorney. He told me no matter how many petitions there are, only new evidence can give Avery a new trial. You already know that Governor Walker, who would make the decision on any kind of executive clemency, has already publicly stated Stephen Avery will not be pardoned.